Ah, Marcus Maxentius, may I be the first to congratulate you on winning your election. You are now the faction heir, and once the great Consul Decius dies, you shall take his place, voted in by the people, and certainly well deserved. Congratulations. And yes, he did incredibly well as well in the Discord vote. Over 100 votes. None of these two opponents got anywhere near. Um, Asinius Ostorius here, uh, the general who just wanted to kill everyone, and Servius the Foul, he is now known as, who, yeah, has some very interesting personality traits. Yeah, thank you anyway for everyone who voted and is taking part in the roleplay. It makes the entire thing much more entertaining for everyone. Because even once the video is over, you can go down and continue to enjoy yourself in the comments, in the Discord, or in future videos. Speaking of which, uh, thank you to all of these commenters here uh, for just being a part of the campaign in their own way. Uh, characters, their comments, most of the time will be shown in the videos as well, just to add that little bit more depth, flavour and uniqueness. Okay, but what do we need to build? We need to build something that can allow our people to uh, have a long life, live long and prosper. Uh, the Temple of Vulcan, yes. Uh, get that built down here in Croton. And then meanwhile, we have our troops here. And we do need to attack Syracuse. We still need to teach the Greeks a good lesson. But when? When is the right time? Do we just go and put it under siege now? Oh, that's quite a lot of characters. Uh, I think we do, actually. You know what? Put it under siege now. We'll leave behind one unit of Velites. Any mercenaries, though? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Uh, yeah, get one of them and a few siege towers. We can spend a few turns here, that's okay. Masana, lower the tax, they'll be okay. And go for a couple of town watch. No, peasants, peasants will do. And get a port in queue as well. There we go. Now my spy up here, Decius, uh, he has been talking to a few Gauls lately. And he's brought it to my attention that the Gauls have had a few talks with Carthage over something, although he doesn't know quite what yet exactly, so... Yeah, some more information may start coming out of this soon. Ah, the British, here we are, come on, here we are, uh, here we go, come on diplomat, let's get some basic trade rights and map information. Good, and now start heading down south, uh, to the Iberians, yes, and then maybe start talks with Carthage if we can find them. Okay, spy, I've got another job for you. Nope, don't shake your head like that, you'll like it. Uh, take a look round here, where's the other? Ah, they've pulled this way. And what's on this boat here? Nothing. Carthage had a very large army. I'm a little worried at where they got to. They could be anywhere. Anyway, if they're gonna be over here, we might as well attack Syracuse now. Uh, shall we? Shall we do it? One more turn. Yeah, one more turn for the extra siege equipment, sure. And Servius the Foul, uh, you've still got to keep building these temples. Yeah, get these built up, so we can have the best quality troops imaginable. Uh, do we have a trader? Ah, where do we build a trader? I think a retium. Yeah, go for a retium, because we're going to need a blacksmith eventually. And a couple more Hastarte as well, and a couple of Velites here. Yeah, just to make sure we've got a good, safe northern front. Uh, we're still getting, yep, the Principes still coming in. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, this is actually really perfect. Uh, Captain Philotas here, uh, he seems to have gotten a little bit ahead of himself. And I bet Dioncios of Sparta is not too happy about that, forcing him out. If he does win this what though, he will be remembered as a hero. But to be honest, I think everyone believes he's a little bit foolish. Um, it was a very dumb attempt when you really think about it. Surely they're safer in the walls. Come on, Marcus. Let's see what you've got. Let's take a look at our character, though. Our opponent. What are we up against? 
Ah, uh, no, no one special. He's got an inventor. He's got a playwright. Nothing we should be worried about. A little confident. Maybe a little too confident. Let's fight it. Okay, and to get it out of the way with, yes, I have been made aware that in part one, I was calling him Marcus Maxentinius and the entire family Maxentinius. However, it's actually Maxentius. Thank you to all of the comments that made me aware of that. <laughs> but anyway, let's start off now. Uh, that was by accident, by the way. Alright, so let's take a look. Syracuse, all the way over there. Looking beautiful. We definitely do want to take that. They're gonna come from this way, aren't they? Yes, we might be... Oh, here's the thing. I, the strategy should be to get up on this hill, take the high ground, and use that to my advantage, but it won't work because then the garrison troops will flee, and I won't get anything out of it. It would be all pointless, so... I'm instead, I'm gonna rush in for the reinforcements, uh, the garrison troops, and deal with it that way. I think that's the better plan. Because whether these guys flee or not, I don't care. But these here, they need to die. Okay, so come on soldiers, get over here quickly, before their reinforcements can group up with the main army. They do have three cavalry general bodyguards though. I do have to be careful of that. You go here. Try and cut them off a little bit. Oh, this is looking like it could get a little messy. Alright, we've got a lot of triarii in this army, which is good. So charge them in. Uh, you go for him, stop him. Now, they have their general there. I'm a little worried about him. I don't know what he's planning. Oh, oh, okay, that's fine. That's fine with me. Uh, you go for their general, maybe. Yes, you take him out. Legions, are you in position? I believe so. Uh, phalanx move just that little bit more forwards. Good, they did the job there. Uh, right, now take out the archers or the mercenary peltists. Uh, be careful of their phalanx, though. Yeah, be careful, be careful. Ooh, Marcus Maxent uh, Maxentius wants to get stuck in, but not that much. He's still got to be careful. He's got quite a few responsibilities uh, that he has to stay alive for. Right, come on, get that general killed. Oh, I've got another one here. Come on. Why is he not breaking? We got him. We got him. That stupid Spartan now dead. Right, turn around, go for them. Get our heavy cav out of there. We don't need them. Take out the other cav unit. Uh, try and break round this way, cavalry. Because I want to take out their archers. Come on, you should be fine there. Okay, now pull the triarii out of there. They've done the job. They're not needed anymore. We're taking out the cav. That's all that done. Although I would have liked to have killed him, but... Oh, well. It don't matter too much. We'll be fine. Right, you're going to have to turn round to try and deal with them. Well done, Cavalry. Good job. Make sure you run all of them down. Triarii get to safety. Good, good. Velites, yeah, they should start firing soon. Right, now go run... Uh, Asinius, you can go run those down. Uh, Marcus, you get here, ready to charge in again. I think just for Peeler alone should do it. Yes, good, perfect. Uh, oh, don't let them flee, don't let them flee. Oh, they return to the field. Careful, Asinius. He's proven his bravery once before. He doesn't have to do it again. He's all good. <laughs> you know what? Maybe do charge into the front of a phalanx a second time. <laughs> nah, nah. I'm not that cruel. Okay, the legions are engaging with a phalanx. And good, they collapse instantly. That's good. That's a very promising sign. But we need them to go as well. Come on, cavalry. Make sure you cut them off. Uh, they're much tougher than the last squad, but there they go. Perfect. Perfect, they're all breaking now, perfect. Uh, Velites, you shoot at them. Make sure they're not going to come back. And with that, we won the battle. Well done, soldiers. Just now, run down as many as you possibly can, so that they don't come back. There we go. We got them. We got them. Good victory, well done Marcus. 800 kills and only 100 losses. Oh, we have Lucius Maxentius. Uh, who's he part of? Uh, what family? Oh, he's Marcus. Congratulations, a third son. How adorable. Aww. And we really did smash the garrison at Syracuse. 
just a shame we couldn't pick off the two generals there. Anyway, you go spy on the Carthaginians. This is looking good. Hardly any troops there. Oh, what's this? We're good. We're good. We're fine. Alright then, come on, Marcus. Time to take Syracuse. Kick these Greeks off this tiny island and take it for ourselves. I think that should then be a worthwhile revenge. I may then look at peace talks. Unsure. Depends how it goes. Leading the garrison is... Uh, this guy here, uh, whose name I'm not even gonna bother trying to pronounce. He's a good commander, but that's nothing compared to Marcus the Handsome. They are strong in cavalry, and this will require inventive thought today, as we lack enough spearmen to counter them. I have never lost a battle against these people. Why should I start losing now, with men such as you at my command? Another victory is at hand! Yeah, well said, Marcus, well said. Although, I really disagree about, you know, having a lot of cavalry and us lacking in units to counter them, but, yeah, whatever. The rest of the speech, it was nice, I liked it. Alright, so, how are we going to approach this? And I think we do have to bring down the walls. Yeah, that's how we got to start it. Go on, her start to get in there. Hopefully we don't take any losses. Oh, that could be unfortunate, and hopefully they pull away from the walls as well. Alright, good, we do get safe entry. That's a good sign. Good start. Ah, true Roman might and technology. Beautiful, beautiful, just digging and digging to bring the walls down. The Greeks will never see it coming. In we go. Boom, oh Marcus, you are a genius. Well done, Marcus. Well played. Right, let's get the cav in here. Let's see what we can pick off early. Actually, are we able to quickly capture the gatehouse here? Uh, no, no, I don't think so. I think you've got to actually be on the walls. Oh, well. Right, get the cav over here, make sure they are all safe. Yeah, good. As I wanted, the pelters for leaving the walls. That's good for us. Uh, you, yeah, go capture the gatehouse and then some towers as well to make sure everyone else is okay. We do have two units of cav in there. Ooh, they're riding out for us now. Um, I don't want to engage them yet at this angle. Come on, pull out of there. Uh, we're okay, we're okay. You know what, maybe do engage them. Marcus, where are you? He's safe, he's safe. Come on, come on, Asinius, get in there. We were him hitting the back, but we should be okay. Uh, yeah, your job, take the walls. The cav can take the peltists. Come on, cut down the calf. If we take a few losses on the bodyguards, that's okay. And we got the general. Good job. Ah, the second one got away for. Oh well. Charge for Peltists, and we should then be good. Boom! Well done, Romans. Well done. They should break easily now that their general's dead. There we go. Tower was shooting at them as well. Oh, that's not good. But that could get us a bit of friendly fire. Ah, we'll be okay. Okay, Asinius, I have a special task for you. We have our Velites and our Hoplite set up. Your job is to get onto the plaza and try and lead them to charge into us. Let's see how they can handle it. Or maybe at least try and kill that general there. That would be good as well. Come on, Asinius. We can do this. Just beat them in. It's not a difficult task. Uh, how far does it need to get them to? About here. Where he is now, come on. Oh, that poor hoplite there. <laughs> come on, guys, let me in. <laughs> come on, let him in, be nice, there we go. <laughs> come on, bait it from further, come on. There we go. There we go, they're coming. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, stupid cavalry. That was his own fault, they deserved that. It was their own stupid mistake. Ah, oh, there we go, they're in range. And they're naked as well, which makes it even better. They die much quicker to javelins. Come on, just get them off the plaza. And then the hoplites should do the rest of the job. Maybe take out the other general as well. Just to lower their morale a bit. Asinius, you can go and do that. There we go, we got him killed. Let's go on to the plaza, let's capture that. Come on, what have I told you about being nice? Let him in. <laughs> ah, we'll be okay. Right, Velitez, stop firing. 
We should be able to handle them with zero losses. There we go, we got it. And let's finish them off. They put up a little bit too much resistance, so... Uh, yeah, get a few more kills on those guys. They deserve it. There we go, we got a few extra kills there. That's fine, we can end the battle now. And it was a clear victory again for Marcus. Well done. Well played, well fought. And Marcus, yet again will enslave the population. That is his gift to Rome. Get a load of slaves, valuables, and just send them back into the city. Yes, 4,000 slaves. Quite good. And town grows Ametium. Ametium grew because of that. Impressive. And old Marcus here has picked up Vanquisher. This man's many victories have made him popular and respected, but also a target in the eyes of his jealous compatriots. Hmm, plus 5% to your popularity with the Senate. Yeah, so I expect to see plus 5% votes in favour of him from you now. <laughs> and plus 10% bonus to your popularity with the people. That's another 10% support I want to see in the comments from Marcus. Repair the walls, and what does he build? He likes his Jupiter, but he's had quite a few good victories. I think he'll bless Mars. Yeah, a shrine to Mars. Bless Mars for the victory. But he knows his job is not done yet. There's still more land in Sicily, but... How can he justify a war against the Carthaginians? We need to find a way. Oh, a candidate for adoption. Marcus the Handsome. He could adopt this man here. Galerius Frontinius. Oh, Frontinus. I keep adding too many eyes. That's my problem. Command of four, one management and one influence. Uh, this would have been one of his soldiers then. Someone is met on the field. Uh, superior commander, wall breaker. Oh, I bet he knew him in the siege of Syracuse, didn't he? He would have been one of the Hastati who brought down the walls and he's sharp as well. You know what? Yes, I think Marcus would adopt him. He's quite impressive and he's 26 years old. Oh, I knew it. I saw it coming. The Greeks and the Carthaginians have signed an alliance. Mm, they have allied with our enemies. Oof, we, we cannot allow that. that. That's not a good sign. A nation that we border with. Again, the Greeks trying to sandwich us in. Not good. And our glorious ally has gone to war with the Dacians. Now, I was about to get trade with them, but you know what? I'll go straight past and to Thrace instead. Ah, Decius Maxentius. Uh, plus one influence and plus one morale. And also he has a mathematician. Plus one management, why is that? It's because we just built the academy, yes, I remember. Good, so he's got some interesting traits there. But he is getting old, 57. Oh, I think these are his final years, if I'm being honest. However, what I have noticed is some of the slaves seem to have risen up. They're ungrateful about their position. We've got a Captain Augustus down here in the south and a Cassius Perperna. Who is this guy? Two command, one management, traits unknown. Ooh, we cannot allow that. Okay, so Decius, luckily we do have a diplomat here and he does seem like an okay general. What can we get out of him? So the character will join and we get his troops. Oh, he's a true traitor then. Okay. He orders Servius to bring the garrison down south. Decius Maxentinius not trusting his son Servius with troops that close to Rome. Uh, he's gonna get the Principes and he's gonna get his army set up here. Bring a couple of Velites in as well. There we go, that should be fine. Yeah, he'll smash them next turn and then He'll go for Augustus down here. Let's get the fleet up here as well for faster movement. Oh, we have a most advanced faction, although to be honest, we already knew that. Town grows to rent him. Okay then, upgrade that. Okay, now do we have a barracks? We don't. We don't have a basic barracks on the front. Does Lilibeum have one? Uh, they do have a stables. That's a lot of calf. Interesting. 
Okay, so, let's get our spy in here. Ah, uh, it's still only the basic tier. Uh, but still, cavalry, a very aggressive unit. Mm. Alright, we'll take the troops, but we'll leave Asinius behind. We'll take Galerius Frontinius instead. Oh, Frontinus. Yeah, his new adopted son, test him out, and he's better stats as well. And uh, let's move on to the border. We could actually actually do with a watchtower, I think. There we go. And let's get some peasants. Hmm, according to Decius, um, he's heard word that the diplomat, Sextus, has apparently spotted some Carthaginians uh, in Gaul, near Nabomartius. I don't see them right now, but still word is coming through. Oh, this is just getting worse. Carthage, an alliance? With the Gauls? God, I hate the Gauls. Okie dokie, we have a little bit of money spare, and it always has to go into Rome first. Do we upgrade the temple? I think a shipwright we're actually better off with. Yeah, go for that. Trader next turn, and then Capua, that's upgrading. Upgrading, mines. We're fine. Oh, now this Carthage. You've taken it too far. They're on our border as well. Two units of cavalry. We've got to attack. We just have to attack them and play it under siege. What mercenaries do we get? Eh, nothing really. Alright, let's do this then. Put it under siege. We had to go to war. Senators. Due to clear signs of aggression from Carthage, I have taken it upon myself to strike first. Attack being the best form of defence for Rome. I, Marcus Maxentius, has put Lilibeum under siege and intends to make Carthage suffer for their clear signs of aggression. Alright, come on Decius, time to kick off these rebels, get rid of them. Right, he has been in the wars, he's sharp, confident commander, publicly loyal, I assure. <laughs> I, I doubt it. But that's probably why we couldn't bribe him. Okay. Now, I bet he's one of the soldiers down here in Sicily who fled. Yeah, because the slaves were brought from Syracuse up to Rome. He probably was one of the guys who brought them. He made a quick bit of money. He took some slaves with him and now he intends to rise up to try and make a name for himself. Ooh, this we cannot allow. We got to take him out. Ah, look at him. A typical traitor cowering on the high ground. I expected nothing else. Okay, Decius, let's see what happens if we move up to the high ground. Right, that does draw them forwards a little bit. Right, pull back. Uh, we might actually be able to get a pick on the peasants uh, with Decius. You know, he's 57. He's a little bit old right now. He knows this is quite possibly going to be his last battle before he dies of the old age. He knows it's a high possibility, so... He kind of wants one last heroic, good old Roman charge. And he's gonna do it now. Into the peasants. Three kills. Boom, there we go. Hitting the town watch as well. We should probably be able to break them. I will be careful. I don't want him dying. I don't think Marcus is ready yet. Ah, Marcus will be fine. Come on, General, break them before the reinforcements arrive. They are now wavering and broken. Pull out of there. Away from the javelins. Okay, good. They survived. They survived. Back up to the high ground. Let's see how they're going to respond now. Alright, so we've got our troops on the high ground. They seem more interested in the Hastati, though, down here. Ah, they're turning round. And a load of javelins into the face of the Velites. Good. Get them gone. Uh, they're charging us with a Hastati. Right, pull out of that. No need to uh, charge him there. Okay, good, they broke. No need to chase them off the field, they're rebels. He'll be fine. Come on. Come on, chargers. If you think you're that tough, can't even remember the guy's name. <laughs> Look at him cower and refuse to fight. You know what, Decius, you charge him there. You show him how it's done. This is how the Romans act. Boom, right in there. Good, we broke the town watch, get the general killed. Go on, Decius, teach him a lesson. This is what we do to Roman traitors. And worse, cowards. There, ah, look at him flee. Right, pull back a little. Can we... Ah, oh, we couldn't cut him off. Ah, oh, well. Right, avoid the javelins. Right, move forwards with the Velites. And the Principes. 
Like the start is should break but from the first round of javelins, I think. Can't see them holding out too much longer. Right, go on. Get the, get the kill on your, the general yourself. There we go, Brock. Here we go, Decius. Probably his final good charge of his life. Oh, oh, careful. Friendly fire, careful. Don't want him dying to one of his own javelins. <laughs> and there we go, but I want to see him killed. Don't let him flee. Oh, he's done a flee, the coward. Come on. We got him, we got him, he's dead. Well done, Decius. One final victory onto your name. But it's not done yet. You've still got one other captain to take down, although I don't think Decius will be that actively engaged here. A new family member, Sir Villia, and, uh, and Caius has a foreign hostage, plus one to influence. Um, ah, that's the diplomat. How did he get a foreign hostage? Ah, oh, well, well done anyway. Uh, yeah, go over to Scythia. Diplomatic information. Macedon has signed an alliance with the Balkland tribes. I'm okay with that for now, although it could be an issue later. And Pontus and the Seleucids are at war. City expands. Oh, the Great Rome has expanded. Invest instantly into that. Uh, go for a blacksmith here. Uh, what does Capua need? I can't really... Yeah, I don't really know. It doesn't need anything, really. It's not a military settlement. I just go for the port, I guess. And for Croton, go for the roads. Yeah, get them upgraded. For faster transport between Croton and Tarentum. Right, board the ships, sail down, and then attack those next turn. Okay, now I see grain here, so Marcus, I think he's gonna turn Sicily into a wheat generating province. I think that's our best bet with it. But now it's time for him to attack Lilibeum, the city of cavalry, led by Theagres himself. Uh, he's got a freeman clerk. Oh, he's just a simple merchant. Religious, inefficient taxman, though. Ah, <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll kill this merchant and his little cavalry brigade. <laughs> oh, you can tell we're up against uh, an unexperienced commander here. He's left the door wide open. Alright then, charge forwards. Uh, get yeah, get the hoplites here as well. See what we can do with them. Alright, good. We scared them off. Okay, dokie. So let's try get this unit of villages around here. Ah, we might not need to. I don't know. I want them to uh, charge this way into the hoplites. So that's my plan. Ah, we don't need the villages. They're going to do it anyway. Good. I should just charge right on in there. And boom. Well done, hoplites. They broke from already. We've got a wall of triarii there as well. Come on, cut the rest of them down. There we go. I think one might get away. Oh, that absolutely traumatised these two guys. Come on, wake up. <laughs> He's gonna send his new adopted son round this way to deal with that unit. There, that unit of light cav. So get him heading that way. Right, so what can we do then with the hoplites? Get them set up here, I think, for now. Yeah, they can get set up there. Just in case they do try and charge. I don't know what that cav unit's doing. Oh, oh, they've caught him off guard. I didn't notice that. Okay, uh, see what you can do. It should be fine. Oh, he's right in the thick of it, though. Come on, bodyguards, do your job. Keep him safe. Needs the experience, but I don't want him to die. Oh, he's cutting them all down. Oh, look at him, look at him, beautiful. Right, chase them down. A true Roman, a hero. Oh, yeah, I don't have to attack them then. That should be fine, it should be okay. Ah, uh, we didn't make the most of our phalanx there like I wanted to, but... Oh, well, we got enough out of it. And well done, it broke them. Right, pull him back now, he's not needed anymore. Get the triarii up. Yeah, move them up. Actually, we might still find a use for them. I don't know. He can't deal with the heavy cav there. I don't want him getting involved there. Ooh. Ooh. Get out of there. Retreat. Flee. Flee. Ah, oh, it broke. Right, you know what? That's good enough. I would have done in that situation as well. I can understand that. Come on, get out of there. Oh, no! <laughs> don't flee that way. Come on, oh, right into the wall. There we go, he should be safe now. Ah, you know what, I'll, I've got to go in and save him, don't I? That's okay for, he proved himself. He just got a little caught unlucky at the end, that's all. That's okay, I'm not going to hold that against him. General against general it is. 
Marcus versus Fiagris, maybe? Nah, Fiagris does not seem that interested. Okay, it took them about three hours, but the Phalanx is finally up there in position. Good. Good, so they're not going to charge that way anymore. Or maybe they are. Maybe they are. Right, come on, get your Phalanx down. Never mind, it's not needed. There we go. We got them there, at last. Alright, so what we're going to do about this, then? We have a lot of Triarii. We could push them in. I'd also like to duel Fiagris, if possible. Alright, Triarii go up, and they're going for my general. Alright, Marcus, you know what? Get involved. Sure, take them out. We've got tri Triarii coming in as reinforcements. It should be okay. You go for the general. Right, good, they broke them. Go on, Marcus. Get in there. Show your newly adopted son how it's really done. A bit worried about the Triarii, though. That's going to be a brutal charge on us, but we were okay. Right, come on, kill the general. Get the Agris gone. Cut down the light cav as well. And charge him there. Go. Go, Marcus. Go. Boom. Save the Triarii. Good. We got them right in the back. That's most of the light cav gone. Most of the heavy cav gone. One bodyguard left and the general. And with that, we've won it. Well done, Marcus. Another victory. And we've also conquered Sicily. The Agris has fallen. You know what? Hang him from this Roman banner there. Yeah. Hang the body from that. And this population must be exterminated. There's no other way around it. We've got our spy here as well. Good job, Marcus. Very good job. And to really insult the Carthaginians, we've got to go Jupiter. Yeah, really convert this place over as quick as possible. Oh, and it has a blacksmith as well, didn't notice that. Right, upgrade all the troops. And I'm gonna need a barracks, I think, because this army, it's clearly a little bit battered. I could just send them up to Rome. You know what, I might actually do that. Get the fleet coming round. I might just send them up to Rome for a quick replenishment and then back. And he's got a new uh, retinue, military tribune, plus one command and improves the chances of getting elected to the senatorial offices. Bear that in mind, everyone, although he's already at the top spot once Decius dies. And 10% bonus to your popularity with the Senate. Remember that, everyone, when you vote for him, he's got Vanquisher as well. Ah, the Iberians, what do you want? Uh, trade agreement and maps. Ah, there we go, very good. Now the Spanish, they don't like the Carthaginians. And they tell us that not too long ago, a Carthaginian army was crossing this region, which I find quite interesting. Huh, Macedon, the king of alliances at this point. Now let's take a look, how many do they actually have? Yeah, like four allies, interesting. Croton has grown, good, get the upgrade in there. Oh, and we can get Equites as well from Lilibeum. You know what? Get a couple of them in the queue. Eh? Wait, hold on. Wait, is Scythia... Oh, I thought... <laughs> I thought for a second Scythia was besieging their own settlement. But no, Thrace is fair. <laughs> Alright, trade, uh, trade rights, map information, the basic stuff. Right, so... This diplomat now... Uh, how old is he? He's 29. You know what? He could actually make it round here in time. Yeah, before he dies of old age. So get him heading up this way, and then down into the Middle East. Uh, diplomatic information, yeah, those two are now at war. Germans and Britons are at war. And Macedon broke their alliance with Scythia. Okay, construction report, yep, new family member. Aurelia, who is, who is that, Aurelia? Ooh, this has expanded quite a bit. Uh, where is Aurelia? Oh! Uh, she is the daughter of Asinius Ostorius and Decius. He's also had a daughter as well, uh, Phadia. And Servius the Fowl has his third daughter. Ooh, he only has one son and heir. Lentless. Interesting. Anyway, the first Roman slave war is now over. Decius came out victorious and quite clearly victorious as well. So... The Principes will remain under his control and go back to Rome. Meanwhile, the Hastati and the Velites will head up north back to Aretium. I've just spotted Admiral Behedishman here with some Libyan spearmen and some light calf. Interesting. What's this? Ah, that's fine. 
don't know what their plan is there. Oh, I don't like the looks of this massive Gallic army up here. They're a little bit battered, but still, there's a lot of troops there. And right now on the front, we don't have that much. Yeah, we don't really have the best troops available. Oh, well, we'll figure it out. Oh, a Carthaginian diplomat has arrived. They want a ceasefire? Interesting. Now, that is very interesting. Nah. Ah. Asinius Ostorius can adopt Gnaeus Marcianus. Quite a good Roman as well, superior commander, drill master, ah, minus two morale, but plus 15% movement points. Bureaucrat, true Roman, not bad, and publicly loyal. You know what? He seems okay. We'll take him on. Ah, our diplomat heading down in Iberia has spotted a Greek town of Saguntum. Uh, let's talk to these guys. Can we get a can we get a ceasefire with the Greeks? I would certainly welcome this. And you know what? We'll even offer our maps free of charge. Nah. Okay then. So be it. Let's continue down to Carthage. Oh, they did. They did accept it. Oh my bad. Uh, ceasefire in effect Rome and the Greek city-states. That's a good sign. Uh, it seems the Carthaginians have got some uh, some rebels to rise up here. Ah, that's unfortunate. Uh, Capua, yeah, go for some good Roman roads. I think that's what we need right now. Yeah, in places where we're not going for military stuff, upgrade the roads. Life was quiet in the north of Rome. And then suddenly, the sound of a thousand footsteps at once were heard. The people looked up from their fields, looked around, but saw nothing. Then they heard the gallops of the cavalry. Again they looked up and around, but saw nothing. And then, thirdly, and lastly, they heard the sound of the screeching of elephants. And then... They heard nothing ever again. And there it came. A Carthaginian army. A full stack of 20 from across the Alps has hit the north of Rome. Spotted first by Decius. Let's take a look at this army. A little closer look. And it's led by a man named Bomilcar. Traits are unknown. He hasn't got much command yet, but he is only 19. Let's take a look at his army there. Oh, Iberian infantry, Libyan spearmen, sacred band, pelter skirmishers, round shield cavalry, and of course, two units of elephants. That's going to be quite a challenge, and Servius is stuck right now right on the front line. He has Hestati and Velitez reinforcements coming in, but will it be enough? Now, unfortunately, the Peltas are not going to arrive in time. Oh, this is, this is not looking good for Rome right now. Bomilcar has crossed the Alps with his elephants, and that is something we are going to have to deal with in part three. Senators, my name is Decius Maxentius. Have I not proven my worth before, my loyalty to the Republic? However, these are dire times, more dire than I have ever seen them before. And so I come to you now, Senators, with a request I wish I never had to make in my life. Additional ruling powers. There is no other way. This Carthaginian army could bring it all down crashing. Senators, if you please, make me dictator, temporarily, for just a few years until this crisis has been dealt with. I swear upon Rome and her people that once the Carthaginian army is destroyed, I will stand down and hand the Republic back to the people. Senators, go now and cast your vote. Should the Republic deal with this crisis, or should a temporary dictatorship be granted to Decius Maxentius? Cast your votes now, 
and may they forever decide the fate of Rome.